Thank you all for coming and for deciding to spend your Sunday evening with us. I want to welcome you and ask you first of all to oh, take that. What was that? I don't know. Oh, that <laughs> to close your cell phones, please. Turn them off for us. So I want to welcome you all to visit Greece with us this evening. This is Petros Katsopoulos at the piano. We're going to go to Greek It's just a paper moon, 
and the beach is only an illusion. But if you believe in me, it'll all come true. your body with kisses. It's just like I dreamed.
This song was performed in Greece to a musical version of Streetcar Named Desire. And in the song, Blanche evokes the memory of her mother and says, Mother, my dear mother, not even the river's waters can wash away the shame that I bear. over the Greek, and the book is called, the novel is called Freedom or Death, which was the mantra of the revolution. And in this tiny corner of Crete, 
struggle continued and the sun rose in the morning over the highest peak and blanketed the countryside and made the water shine. But in a small corner of creek, the houses were burning and the women were mourning and the children were orphaned and the men were fighting but they didn't have guns. Where is God that, she, that he may see Crete now and feel her pain? One is by the poet Seferis, and the second one is by Aletis. And Seferis talks about a hidden seashore where the water was sweet, but we wrote our names in the sand, and the wind blew and erased it as it erased our hope. Thus, our lives, our desires, and our passions were changed by a turn of events. And the next song is by Aletis, the poem, and it says, son or light of justice, don't forget my country. 
With my bitter hands and with thunder, I turn back the time, calling on my old friends to come forth with threats and with blood. But please, don't forget my country.
So, this is a folk song. And the women in the island are gossiping about Irene. And they say, Eddie, we saw you last night. You were out with Divya. No, you were out. No. <laughs> you were out late last night. But we didn't see you this morning. And if you keep up like this, Elias never been married. This is serious. This is very serious. <laughs> very serious stuff, especially the gossip. <laughs> Zibaeri means my precious one, my treasure. And it's a lament sung by a mother whose child has immigrated to foreign lands. And she says, you've taken my child, my precious treasure, and you made him yours. And now I tread lightly on the earth. Oh, 
my mother's, one of my mother's favorite songs. Yeah. <laughs> and my mom's here tonight. Oh my. She made the She always asked me for this song, and I didn't have a chance to sing it last time. So here you have it. In the olden, <laughs> in the olden days in Greece, um, the men used to go with guitars underneath their beloved's balconies and serenade them. And um, this is one of those songs. And it says, Please, my love, don't be angry with me because I'm going to faraway lands. And that seems to be a theme because a lot of men in Greece were leaving through the centuries, through the decades, all through the 20th century in particular, coming here to look for work. And they leave their families behind and their beloved. He says, please don't, don't be angry with me. I'm going to return to you as a dove. And I'll come back to your balcony and find you.
Greek song that's called Repetica. That's what Ken was trying to say before. 
<laughs> and it's the blues of Greece, and it's just like American blues, a lot of parallels. Um, there was a period of time in the 1920s when, after World War I, when there was what they call a population exchange, but I call it really a genocide. It's when Greeks and Armenians, Christians and Jews were kicked out of the Ottoman Empire. My grandmother was one of them. And they came into Greece and the Greek government couldn't accommodate easily millions of people. So they built some temporary housing that ended up being long-term housing. But these Greeks brought with them Rebetica, which is the eastern sounding Greek music. Uh -huh. And it's considered the blues of Greece, as I mentioned. And it talks about their hardships and their downtrodden and so on and so forth. Um, this song is about a girl from Burnova, which is in present-day Turkey, and she was a Greek girl, and she was dancing. And as I watch her dancing, the song says, she reminds me of myself when I was young. Dance, girl from Bonova. Uh, Bonova, yeah, it's girl from Bonova. As your snake-like body undulates, all eyes are on you, longingly. <laughs>
the last one before we have dinner, and then we're going to come back to the rest of the program after.
Russian. Um, Greece was under the Turkish Ottoman rule for 400 years. And during that time, Greeks were not allowed by law to speak their language or to practice their religion. And very often, the sultans would go into villages and find the pretty young girls and abduct them and take them away to harems. And so these next two songs are about that. The first song is a young girl who is sitting by the window and she watches the ferry going back and forth over the lake that she could see from her window. And her, her room is like a cell, an imprisoned cell. And she thinks of the ferryman as Charon, like in, in, in mythology, who used to take the bodies back and forth over the river Styx once they died. And she watched the ferryman and think of her own fate. But the good news is, the second song is by another, about another girl who was also taken off to a harem, but her beloved never forgot her memory, and he waits outside and found the perfect moment where he drew his sword, goes into the harem, and rescues her. <laughs> Yay! Yay!
So I'd like to invite Dr. Joe up here for a very special song. This song we'd like to dedicate to the memory of Mark's mother. was Turkey in the 1920s when they were chased out <clears throat> and the Greek government built some neighborhoods for them to live. They needed housing and they quickly built some housing in a place called Rapizona. And years later they wanted to tear down the neighborhood and the residents there rebelled and they said no, no. Every stone that was placed here, every door that was built, was built with blood and with sorrow. Our rain-beaten little homes, they may be poor, but they're our haven. And they're places where our children laugh and play. This place has a heart and soul. Now there's no life for us any longer in Vrapitsona. Take my hand. We'll keep on going, we will continue to live 
even though we're poor. <laughs> It describes the net of the underworld. 
And the song warns you to have your eyes wide open in every step in life because before you is spread out a net. And if you get caught in that net, no one can free you except yourself. You alone will have to search for that thread that will unravel it. And if you're lucky, you'll be able to start over again.
So, you're a mystery to me, the song says. You torture me and play games, and I never know what's going on. Because your eyes tell me one thing, but your heart tells me another. Despite all of that, like it or not, I still love you. <laughs> yeah, there's this misconception I, I have to, uh, to add. <laughs> After all you've heard and listened to, you could think that there's a lot of pain in that. <laughs> but, like with all people who suffer, what made us suffer made us stronger. And we are here to stay, and we know how to party, and we're very fun, fun people. <laughs> so I want you to know that. <laughs> Thank you. 
of our program and I thank you all so much for being such a wonderful audience and for listening so quietly and attentively. We really appreciate that. I want to thank my musicians. Please help me thank Petros Hadzokos. Kosas Psaros. For, for hosting us this evening. Thank you Scott for all her help, including her publicity. And Joe Olivieri for inviting us. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.